Maths Made Easy. Tuition, revision, success. The first pupil I'd like to talk about was sent to me by his school. He had been offered a place to study art, but he had to pass his GCSE maths, and that seemed impossible. I don't think he had much idea of maths or hard work, but he did want that college place. We set about the syllabus, and soon I asked him to do a GCSE paper every Saturday morning and bring it to his lesson. We then marked it, and I explained each question that he'd got stuck on, making sure he understood it. There were few topics we did not attempt, but not many. He was learning to work and seldom arrived without having done at least part of the paper. Gradually, his marks improved. He passed his GCSE and he got his place. The second pupil came to me first for a bit of polish before her GCSE. She then started her A-level maths and found that much more challenging. She found her teacher in school went far too fast for her and she just could not keep up. In a one-to-one -one lesson, I could go at her pace, constantly checking that she was still with me. I described her as a tortoise, but reminded her who won the race. She was quite slow to grasp things, but once she understood she could apply her knowledge, she got an A. The third pupil I'll talk about was the third brother in the family to come to me. He was bright. He always wanted to be ahead of the game. He first came when doing his GCSEs and continued through to A-level. He chose to continue lessons all through the summer holiday after his GCSE exam, so he would be well set up when he started the A-level course in September. He continued throughout the two years to study topics with me before he did them in school. He progressed well and not surprisingly, he got an A star.